there was one specific time where I was in the male, um, the, the parenting class with the men, and so the, the class was over and one, one of the men stayed behind, and one person had forgotten something, so he came back into the, came back into the class, and then they, they stopped and looked at each other, and he said, don't I know you from somewhere? And then he said, no. And then he asked, when was the last time you were here? Um, and he said, when I was 17, that was 12 years ago. Um, and so that was the last time he was there, and they, and they were able to, they, they crossed paths again. So thinking about how, like, crippling the criminal justice system can be or paralyzed like once you're when you're once you're in this system it's easier for you to come back and just seeing that that length of time and they were back in the same place at the same time and then I guess specifically with the women um, that particular experience was interesting because I would I always say that I was raised by a village of women and specifically being away from home um, I, I immediately felt comfortable in that space um, and it got it, it was weird in the sense that like I remember I started to develop relationships with um, with the inmates and there was just this one time where I was I, I was coming in and, a, and an inmate I hadn't seen her for months because I think she either was put in solitary or something like that and she and I had seen her for the first time and we were crossing paths because she was coming to class and it was this like weird thing where we reached for each other we realized oh we can't hug each other um, and so things like that, just building compassion and building um, honest, vulnerable relationships with them um, made me really value, value that time, but also value my own experiences, made me really critically reflect, reflect on the criminal justice system. And I think for me, Pulse kind of made me think about how we as people um, collectively can create pockets of liberation for other people. Um, and then also being able to use our privilege in being on a college campus. And I think for me, that's what's been so powerful about being a part of this legacy is we're creating pockets of hope for people.